Hi guys, Jody here. Uh, just checking in. I haven't checked in for I don't know how many days. Every time I say I'm going to check in every day, I have life happen. Uh, so anyway, it is what it is. It is. There's lots of vlogs out there to watch. I've noticed. Um, I haven't watched any vlogs all weekend. Um, being Easter, we have been a little bit busy. Um, it's still my year end where I'm working, so. Um, I had to work for a little bit yesterday, but besides that, we've uh, been um, just uh, having lots of good meals with friends and stuff. Last night we cooked a ham. Uh, it was my first time having ham. I'm not a big fan of ham anyway, so I didn't eat that much. But um, what I did with it was um, it came with a glaze, and so my husband... Um, lovingly cut off a chunk for me before they glazed theirs and I bought um, Joseph's sugar-free maple syrup so I just glazed mine and I didn't I didn't quite do it properly if I were to do it again I would get him to cut me off a big chunk of the ham and then glaze it instead of he he cut it was um, one of those ones that are like a spiral cut so it was already sliced so he couldn't control that but it'd be I think better to have like the outside of the ham my ham glazed with the maple syrup so it kind of maybe candies a little bit but it still was really good and delicious and flavorful as far as ham goes i'm not like i said i'm not the biggest fan but uh it was probably the best ham i've had so it was good um and i ate some pretty much p3 um i'm i feel like i'm getting really good at making my own version of things. Uh, so tonight we're cooking a turkey, just the two of us. Um, we had some unfortunate uh, stuff happen to friends of ours, um, our neighbors actually, and they also um, run this store here in town and um, their house caught on fire on Saturday morning. And uh, we live in a really remote location so it's um, there's a siren that sounds in the in the town when there's an emergency and one's for a tsunami and one's for a fire and it was the fire warning and a lot of times the fire warning will go off when um, um, they have like a they do practices and drills of course with us all the time to make sure that we can hear it and make sure that if there were a tsunami or a fire that everyone in town is well aware that that's what's going on so anyways we heard it and uh, they ended up having a fire and, and they put it out and luckily saved their house there was, there was quite a bit of damage but um they had their daughter in town for easter and we're gonna cook a nice easter dinner and um of course we offered our help i am um, i have worked at the store before so i offered to go down and work for him yes or my husband offered for me to go and work for him if he needed that day and we invited them for dinner that night just knowing that they're probably stressed out and obviously they weren't really social and didn't want to come and that's fine but uh, they had gotten a turkey and a whole bunch of vegetables and fruit and everything to make this big meal. And then they had to take their daughter back to town because they can't sleep in their bedroom. So um, we are making, just for my husband and I, this massive, massive turkey. So I'm kind of excited because I haven't had turkey. Um, it's unfortunate the way we got the turkey, obviously. But um, I haven't had turkey yet at all since I started HCG and I know that on P4 it'll be fine well I hope anyway but I'm making a turkey dinner and I made maybe I'll take a picture and share it with all of you but I made um, this recipe I found for coconut bread um, that is just using coconut flour and coconut oil so it doesn't it's not overly strong with coconut flavor it actually is kind of an eggy bread which I like so I made that and then I it was like a mug bread and then I toasted it and now I'm gonna mix it with the um, what I what I'd like to do because my husband and I usually eat a lot of wild meat so we we usually get to eat um, some of the use some of the organs for flavor and um, I really like to cook the the liver of a bird uh, in butter which I, this is the first time I've gotten to do it since HCG. I cook it in butter um, with some salt and pepper, and I did the heart too, actually. And um, then I add it to my stuffing for flavor, and people never even know what's in there. Um, like people who would be kind of weirded out by eating those kinds of things never ever would know what's in there. It just adds a lot of flavor and makes it really delicious. And so um, I did that, 
um, and I sauteed it with some onions and some leeks and some celery. And um, after I cooked it, chopped it up into little bits. <clears throat> and uh, now I've got my bread waiting and I toasted the bread so that it would be more like a dry bread for stuffing. And I'm going to have stuffing. And I'm uh, slowly um, simmering the neck, the turkey neck right now so that I can make gravy um, with xanthan gum. And last time I made, um, my friend uh, made a chicken for me while I was at work. Her and my husband were uh, here working around the house. And uh, she made a chicken and she knew she knows I'm on this. So she was helpful and <clears throat> made me a gravy with xanthan gum. And it was delicious. So I'm really excited about that. And the only thing that I'll be missing, I guess, really is the carrots and the potatoes. But they also gave us this bag full of fresh corn on the cob and it's one of my favorite things in the whole world to have so being that it's Easter and I'm starting my next round on Tuesday Happy Easter! <laughs> my husband. Um, not this Tuesday but next Tuesday um, I'm going to give it a whirl and see how corn affects me. The only downfall is that I've never had turkey. So if I am up tomorrow, I won't know if it's the turkey or the corn, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I've learned so much on P4 knowing that if I go up a couple pounds, if I eat clean, I go back down those couple pounds. And I hope that that sticks true for me through round two. But um, it's, it's liberating, you guys. We can eat normally and not... Like, I haven't been counting calories for weeks now. Like, almost two weeks. I don't count calories. I eat what I want. I, I alter my meals a lot to make them friendly for me. My husband helps. But who cares? I'm, I'm finding that a lot of the stuff I make is really good and, and almost better. Maybe the stuffing will be good. I'll have to take pictures and show you guys if it works out. But, anywho, I just wanted to touch base. I was two pounds below my LDW this morning. Uh, but like I said, we had friends over last night, so um, we had some drinks, which you all know I lose when I drink, so um, I'm sure tomorrow I'll be back up, and I don't care. I'm having fun on P4, yay! But I'm looking forward to P2, so I hope everyone is uh, doing really well. I haven't watched, like I said, any vlogs in the last um, couple days, so I hopefully will get to some tonight. Um... Well, I did watch a couple. That's not true. But um, I hope everyone's doing really well. I feel like I'm just eager to get on there and find out what's going on with all you guys. So I know that some people entered P3, so I want to see how that's going. So I'm going to go watch some bugs. So, okay, goodbye. Sorry, one more thing. I forgot to tell you guys um, that I'm kind of excited about it. It's weird to be excited about Tom. But Tom came. He's here right now. I find it weird calling Tom a he. Anyway, um, so that works out so well because um, I was supposed he was two weeks late, and I was supposed to get him obviously two weeks ago, and he's prolonged coming till now. And I'm not very. I don't have a set. My it's all over the place. But obviously on HTG it was. It was pretty normal and um so what's exciting about that is i was worried that he came two weeks ago obviously i would be starting my round um not knowing what was coming he came and he's here right now so that means by the time i'm done i'll only probably be like five days yeah five days probably after tom leaves when i start my round so that's pretty exciting yay to know that i won't have to worry about tom because i may do a shorter round a 30-day round so i might get tom at the very end of my round but um at least it's uh out of the way and I'm not having to worry about it being right in the middle of my round or what I'm really like trying to, you know, um, lose weight in the very beginning. That's what I was worried about is that it would be around the time when I start my round. So, yeah, I just want to add that. Okay.